Hey there, welcome to ProTech. Today we're going to share a video submitted from Jeff Buckley on how to replace a thermostat on a Jeep with a 3.6 liter engine. It's not your average replacement, since the thermostat comes in pieces that must be properly assembled in the housing. Let's check it out. Howdy folks, Jeff Buckley here, owner and master technician at My Father's Shop Certified Auto Repair. Now we had this vehicle coming in and it had codes for the uh, thermostat working below threshold, which basically means we got to replace the thermostat. I want to show you all what's involved, but the main reason is because the new thermostat comes in pieces like this. This is a new deal, and so I want you all to be able to see what all is involved and why this thermostat comes all in pieces. So let's get started here, and first thing that we do is cover right here and uh, this has where you uh, remove the lid there to get to the oil filter but this whole thing will come off right here and then we take uh, the air intake loose and there's one line back here on the back that we have to unplug that goes to the air temperature the intake air temperature so we get all of this moved out of the way so you can see we've got access here and the thermostats in this housing right here so what we do is we take this upper radiator hose loose and then we just undo the bolts right here and what I've done uh, is you can see uh, over here on the side where the uh, radiator cap is is we have a uh, suction hose that we stick down there and drain down some of the coolant so we didn't get the coolant to leak all over. Now the thing that I wanted to show you on this one is see right here it just looks like a regular thermostat but actually because of all those pieces you actually have to push this spring down and this top piece will this top piece right here will rotate out and then you take the spring out and you pull the uh, the thermostat out. Now the thing that I want you to be sure to understand is you see right here how it has a little skinny part and it has the fat part. This little skinny part has to fit down in a tube in there and so when you take that apart you put the new tube in and as you notice the spring has a a big part and a little part and you put the big part down and then you take the clamp and you notice that it has a spot where to go into that spring and then you push it down and twist it lock it lock it back into place well that's the interesting thing on this thermostat and I wanted to share that with you all and then as you notice you replace that gasket and then we stick it back on there and be sure that this has a little tab right here that you don't break that off that you put it in there and then twist it back into place and then put the bolts in and lock it all back together well, that's the car care tip that I wanted to share with you today. And as always, I appreciate y'all watching. 